after spending the late 70s and early 80s between Nigeria, Cameroon and Gabon. The musician Lapiru Dembanga finally returned home to Cameroon in 1985 with the album that marked the beginning of a sustained commentary on the socio-economic and political situation in Cameroon. The title song, Pa Ajan, No Love, decries the commodification of love. His linguistic signature was distinctive. Unlike other musicians who sang mostly in their mother tongues, La Piro sang in Cam Franklin, a popular French-based speech form that merges lexical items from English, Pidgin English, and local languages. <laughs> This song, No Make Error, released in 1986, like Pa Ajang No Law, indicated that Lapiro's inspiration came mostly from those living on the margins of society. No Make Error explores the subcultural world of the Mboko. The Mbokos are thieves, swindlers, and comment their language Lapiro speaks in this song. Kapni, released in 1988, saw him expanding his inspirational base to include not just the Mbokos but also the general struggling public, popularly known as Sauveteur. Sauveteur are mostly involved in petty trading and other survival ventures. Kapnir also establishes the importance of public spaces in Lapiru's music. Markets, train and bus stations become symbols of the struggle against the economic crisis and eventually would become important spatial axis of political activism during the 1990s pro-democracy movement. Having established a fan base among the underprivileged, Lapiro then engaged the government with the people's grievances. This is Mimba We, Lapiro's direct appeal to the president to look into the people's plight. In the heat of the struggle for democracy in the 90s, Lapiro released Nayu, an indictment of the president for messing up the country. He called on the president to clear a The song is also an apt summary of the dismal socio-economic situation in the country. Educational qualifications have become virtually useless. Everybody from the primary school leaver to the university graduate turned to unskilled jobs in order to make ends meet. This is the atmosphere captured in Nayu, a song that became an anthem both in the dance hall and on the streets where the people battled it up for democratic change. <laughs> But the song that would land Lapiro in hot waters is Constitution Constipé, released in 2008. It is a protest song.